Welcome to full body mobility routine number two. So I already have one routine up. This is gonna be pretty similar, but give you a different outfit to look at and something new to follow along to. Some of the exercises may be similar, but there's gonna be some new ones in there. I would recommend using this as a warm up before your workout routine or anytime you want. If you want to work on your mobility and just kind of stretch your body a little bit, feels really nice. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start by showing you an example of the movement and then we will get into the exercise with the reps. All of them are going to be around five to 10 per exercise. If you wanna do more though, feel free to pause the video and do as many as you would like. Remember, quality over quantity though. So first exercise, ATG split squat. A split squat is basically a lunge without a lot of the movement. So you're just kinda, you staying in place. And ATG means to grass. So as low as you can go. This one, we're trying to get our knee over our toes, okay? This is what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. If you wanna watch that again before we get started, feel free, but we're gonna get into it. Six split squats per leg. Begin. I like to think about my quad flexing and pulling my body up because this exercise is meant to strengthen these little muscles around your knee for some great knee strength and stabilization. All right, very good, nice leg. If you need something to hold on to, you can hold on to the wall, you can hold on to your friend, you can hold on to a chair. The possibilities are that of your imagination. All right, very good. Okay, to keep the video running quickly and smoothly, I'm not going to show the resting just because that's slightly optional. If you wanna rest between exercises, I would recommend pausing the video, maybe like 30 seconds. Um, you shouldn't really need more than that for what these are. Also, they're not really targeting exactly the same muscles each time. So don't have to worry about too much fatigue but we're just gonna get started into the next exercise right now. Cossack squats, so another lungy motion. Wide legs, example. Really good for this here area. Lovely. A little side view so you can see what it looks like from the side. Getting started, we're gonna do five each leg. Ready? Begin. Again, I think about here, I like to think about my glutes flexing at the bottom, propelling my body up. Glute propulsion.
Good work. Next exercise. This one we're gonna do 90 90s with a hip thrust at the top. So this is what that's going to look like. 90, 90, roughly. Mathematicians, please, please. And as you've noticed, I have also been showing easier, like simplified other variations of the movement. So if you're uncomfortable or currently unable to do the movement I'm showing, it is perfectly okay to do a variation. In fact, that's fantastic. You should be doing what your body is allowing you to do at the moment. Let's get started on those 90-90s. Five per side, ready? Very good. Oh, and if you find yourself moving forward with those 90-90s, as it's pretty common to notice you kind of like boot scooting it on forward or to the side or, you know, you're just boot scooting somehow, it's okay to put your hands down and scoot yourself back to where you want to be. Or you can just travel along the floor freely wherever your little butt takes you. Okay, next exercise we're going to be doing something slightly more core and upper body, seal into child's pose. This is one of my favorites because I just feel like it gets so much going. It's just like such a flow motion. I'm pretty sure both of these movements are seen or started from yoga. So shout out yoga, love you. We're gonna start with the seal. This is the seal. Really fantastic ab stretch. And then you push backwards into child's pose. Really good for your lats and shoulders. Love it. And then you start over. Okay, we're going to do five of those, but these really do just feel so fantastic. You may be like, Patty, I need more of that. That's okay, you can do more. Please feel free, pause the video, repeat the part of the video, feel it out, feel nice. Begin, breathing in. Breathing out. Wow, wasn't that just so <laughs> refreshing? Next exercise, we're gonna do some thoracic wall rotations with this little shoulder 
windmill action. You can also do this one standing up. I'm gonna do it kneeling because I don't wanna move the camera and I don't feel like standing up, but you can if you want. This is what it looks like kneeling. Utilizing this wall. Ta-da! So this was one rep. We're gonna do five each side. Begin. Lovely. Switch sides. You might experience some snap, crackle, popping. Um, as long as that snap, crackle, pop is not followed by pain, you should be okay. Little Rice crispy action is okay. Granted, no pain. All right, <laughs> new camera angle. Very discombobulating, I know, I apologize, but I wanted to give you guys a different angle for this next exercise. We're gonna do wall extensions. So, two wall movements. Let me show you. I like to do it with pro and retraction. This is protraction, like that. This is retraction. You honestly don't even need to do that. I just like to do that. I also like to do that when I do push-ups, um, as this part helps a lot with this serratus, and it's just a nice cue. I just enjoy it, so. This is the, the wall movement. All right, let's get started with actually doing that one in the routine. I'm gonna do 10. If you don't feel the 10 is necessary for you, you can do a little bit less than that. Wouldn't really recommend less than five because at that point you're, what are you doing, you know? I mean, not that that's bad, but you should probably at least do five. I'm gonna do 10. We're gonna do 10. Let's go. Good work. 
You can also do it kneeling on a lower, on a lower thing. You just kind of need a measure. There you go. Easy as that. Limits are that of your imagination and potentially your physical capabilities. But we're working on that. We're working on increasing those mobility capabilities. Okay, last movement of the video. We're going to be doing hip airplanes. I like to use the wall for support. You can also use a chair or a friend or a stick or no support if you have really good balance. I don't really trust my balance. It's not what it used to be. It's not what I would like it to be, but it's what I have. So, wall. Start soft knee as if you were going to do an RDL, slightly bent. Lift your leg, doesn't need to be crazy, just lifted. Soft leg, rotate inward, and then external. Rotating in one plane, the airplane. You might want to give that one a try before diving into it, but we're going to dive right in with, I think we're going to do six each leg, six airplanes. I'm going to start with this leg. Very good. Next leg. Okay, and that concludes our part two of our full body mobility routine. I hope that you enjoyed it. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I recommend using this pre-workout. Also, you don't have to. This isn't the only routine that exists. I have the other one. There's other great routines out there. You can find something that works for you. I just like doing these exercises. I also think it's really important to warm up, get you ready for the exercise. Doing these sort of mobility stretches can help prevent injury, increase obviously by the name, mobility, range of motion, blood flow. I don't know what else. Overall, it's just great. I think that it's really like a mood lifter too. Sometimes if you don't want to work out, it's even good to just do a little stretch routine because you don't have to be you know, killing yourself to make progress. Sometimes you need a little rest and relax. That being said, this is great for pre-killing the workout and for just rest and relax moving your body. As always, I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and please leave a silly comment below. Let me know if there's other sorts of routines you'd like demonstration of. Let me know if you like this sort of follow along. Um, if any aspect of this follow along was weird or <laughs> not preferable to you, I'm always open to suggestions on something that would be more helpful and enjoyable for you, you know, because I, I like to be helpful. So if you're about to work out, I hope you have a good workout. And if you're not, I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.